Hey guys, it's Appalachian ADV Rider here, coming to you live. <laughs> Check this out. Well, today I'm going to do a different video. I've always done reviews or, you know, discussions about topics or whatever, but now I'm going to do a little bit of a get to know me, if you're interested. Two weeks ago... I was let go from my job. I am turning 60 this month. So I'm thinking, you know, what do I want to do with my life? You know, I've been working since I was 11 years old or 10 or some, er you know, early, early age. What is this, man? I grew up in Brooklyn and, uh, And there's a little bar right up the neighborhood, and I used to walk the dogs there uh, twice a day. There's two dogs, so that was I walk them separately. And then I had a, a paper route, and then I started as a messenger in New York City. I, I actually worked in a World Trade Center, so uh, and I got my mom a job in a World Trade Center, and worked there for a couple of years as a messenger, and I was a delivery guy. In New York City for a uh, you know stationery store. Anyway, long story short, I've been working uh, a solid almost fifty years. So here I got you know laid off, and and it's it's fine. It's you know mutual or everything's good. So um, and I started thinking, you know, I mean it was up to me. You know, the day before I got laid off, I was thinking I was going to work to seventy years old, right, or whatever. Max out Social Security. I, I mean, I work until I felt I didn't want to work. And then uh, the next minute, got laid off and, you know, hey. You know, I'm, I am 60, or I'm going to be 60, so to get to Social Security is two and a half years. So, you know, the, the question is, you know, do I want to, you know, coast for two and a half years until I get to Social Security? And, uh, uh, you know, I, or... Or, you know, to retire, you know, basically retire early or, or not. And, you know, there's, I haven't done much. Uh, I've done a lot in, in this life, but I mean, I've been working. So, you know, everything I've done, I've squeezed into, into stuff. I'm going to, I'm going to switch my arms hurting. Everything I've done is, um, I've squeezed into a couple of weeks or, you know, crammed everything into the weekends and, um, and I'm still healthy. You know, I, I was smoking for a long time, so, you know, I don't know if I'll ever get COPD, but I, I don't feel 100% uh, there. And even though, I, you know, I stopped a, a year ago. Actually, my, my year anniversary is, uh, is this month. One year of not smoking after nearly 40 years of smoking. Anyway, long story short, I am here to tell you guys that I'm not buying as many knives, or I'm not going to buy any knives at the moment. So um, there'll be no more unboxings. But I have a ton of knives in my collection that uh, I could review and talk about and compare. And, and there's a lot of material there. And if I do decide to retire, because I'm, you know, my personality is not one to, you know, not work. I, I don't know how to describe it to you. It was kind of weird to think about, well, is this the moment? You know, mathematically, you want to, you know, financially, you want to work until you die, right? I mean, that's the, the, the best in terms of income or security or however you want to judge that, right? But, um, you know, that becomes a quality of life issue. So, you know, I love riding, as you guys know, and this, you know, things I want to do. And, you know, I'm 60 and I'm already doing stuff that a lot of 60 year olds aren't doing. And I just started riding dual sports at 55. So I've been riding um, pavement forever, you know, since I, I could. I grew up in Brooklyn, so I didn't have need for transportation. I had nowhere to store it, uh, no garage. So it wasn't until, and then I went to college. Went to college a little late. But anyway, long story short, my first motorcycle I bought was probably around. 25 years old uh that was a 454 kawasaki ltd with a banana seat anyway i don't want to bore you so the point to this story is 
Thank you for sticking around. I think there's going to be interesting content coming. Uh, um, I'm only going to film what I, I feel like uh, is, is interesting. And I don't know if a story of a 60-year-old man trying to reinvent himself or figure out what's next in life is interesting or not. But um, for me, it is. And everything I'm doing, I, I'm doing you know, because I, I, I enjoy it. So for the moment, I decided, well, let me uh, share this information with you. I mean, I think you're going to notice that I might be uh, doing a lot more of this uh, kind of stuff in the future. I've got a lot of camping gear, a lot of, uh, you know, desire to camp and uh, places I want to go. So, um, you know, the, the, the question is, how much do I want to? Um, the question is, am I attracting an audience, really? At the end of the day, I'm doing this for myself and I love it. Absolutely. But if you also enjoy, you know, these adventures, if you could please subscribe and like this video and it helps me grow. And, um, on one hand, I'm, you know, I'm doing it cause I love it and, and I'll continue to do it. On the other hand, it'd be nice to have an audience and I'm, you know, I enjoy uh, the interaction. So please leave a comment down below and talk about whatever, if not this video, then another video. All right. So there's uh, exciting things in the future, hopefully, or, you know, hopefully I don't return to work or I don't know, but right now, for the last two weeks, I've been wondering about what's next. All right. Well, thank you very much uh, for joining me. And don't forget to subscribe. I will talk to you later. Bye.